بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس اینڈ آڈینس السلام علیکم ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ یوز آف بلب ان اینیمل بریڈنگ سو واٹ از بلب ان اینیمل بریڈنگ اٹ از بیسٹ لینئر ان بائسڈ پروڈکشن اٹ از اے ٹیکنیک فار ایسٹیمیٹنگ جینیٹک میرٹس اور بریڈنگ ویلیوز آف اینیملس In general, it is a method of estimating random effects, which are specifically called additive genetic effect of animals. So best linear biased, unbiased predictions of random effects are similar to best linear unbiased estimates of fixed effects. So a uh, blob is based on a linear mixed model or animal model uh, as, uh, which is given as under it is y is equal to xb plus za plus e. Now y is vector of observed phenotypes for example milk production or growth rate and its order is n into 1. x is a design matrix or uh, incidence matrix and this order would be n into p b is a vector of fixed effects to be estimated and its order would be p into 1 uh, it would have p rows and one uh, column uh, z is a incidence matrix of random effects and its order would be n into q uh, a is a vector of random effects to be predicted and q would be number of levels of random effects multiplied by one which is a one column so it would be a column matrix e is a vector of residuals and its order would be n into one uh, here n is the number of records if we have 100 records and it would be 100 200 and would be 200 and p is the number of levels of fixed effects for example if we have fixed effect of sex male and female so p would be 2 and q is number of levels of random effects it is equal to the number of animals which we are using uh, for estimating their effects now why blub is called blub uh, b stands for best it is uh, it is uh, it is considered best model because it maximizes accuracy between true breeding value which is a and estimated breeding value which is a hat or it minimizes the prediction error variance which is variance of a minus a hat it is called linear uh, l is linear stands for linear because predictions of breeding values that is is are linear function of observations that is why so our estimates of breeding values uh, our predictions of breeding values are linear functions of observations that is why it is linear and unbiased uh, uh, we call it unbiased because average values of prediction is equal to average value of quantity being predicted so average value or expected value of, of a would equal to expected value of a and prediction is to distinguish it from estimation usually estimators of fixed effects are called estimators where uh, estimators of random effects are called predictors. So prediction is uh, basically to distinguish it from estimation. It is same thing, but for the sake of random effects, we call it prediction. So we have uh, certain expectations and assumptions of linear mixed model. Uh, expected, uh, expected value of y is equal to xb, uh, average value of a is zero average value of e is zero because they are random effects and their average values are assumed to be zero and variance for fixed and random effects are assumed variance of b is equal to zero because b is for fixed effects and it remains constant variance of additive uh, genetic effect or breeding values is g and it is equal to a into sigma square a a is, uh, stands for numerator relationship matrix and sigma square A is additive genetic variance. Variance of E or residual variance is, is it is equal to R 
It is a variance covariance matrix of uh, residuals and it is equal to identity matrix multiplied by sigma square A E, which is uh, residual variance or error variance. So variance of Y would be equal to V, which is equal to Z G Z prime plus R uh, after derivation. And we assume that covariance between reading values and uh, residuals is zero. And similarly, between residuals and reading values is zero. And we assume that breeding values are distributed normally with mean zero and variance A into capital A into sigma square A. And residuals are normally distributed with mean zero uh, and variance I into sigma square E. So uh, after a little bit of derivations, what we need to estimate is, is A hat, which is equal to G Z prime V inverse Y minus X B hat. And for B hat, B hat is equal to X prime V inverse X, X prime V inverse Y. So you see in these, both of these cases, we need V inverse. For A, we need V inverse and for B we need V inverse. However, V inverse is usually not possible because it is not computationally feasible. If we have a lot of data, uh, 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 taking getting V inverse becomes difficult. To solve this problem, Henderson made our life easier by developing mixed model equations. And they do not require V inverse, and it is proven that solutions of B and A from MME are uh, best linear unbiased estimates of B and best linear unbiased prediction of A. So these are linear mixed model equations which are developed by Henderson, and they give the same solutions, but here we do not need V inverse. Now we will uh, uh, go to some assumptions of MME. Uh, we assume that Y, A observations and breeding values and errors are multivariate normal distribution, have multivariate normal distribution, and traits are determined by many additive genes with small effect, uh, liquidated at many infinitely unlinked loci. This is called infinitesimal model. And the genetic variance changes in genetic variance resulting from selection in breeding and genetic drift are accounted for, accounted for in MME through inclusion of relationship matrix and assortative mating. And variance covariance for base population are assumed to be known. So I will give a small example which was quoted by Marod. We have uh, uh, five animals, uh, three male, two female. They have sire and dam, and they have pre-weaning gain 4.5 kilogram, 2.9, 3.9, 3.55. So, how to write? Uh, what is our objective? Is to estimate fixed effect of sex and to predict breeding values of all animals for weaning weight gain. We assume that alpha is sigma square e divided by sigma square a is 40 divided by 20 is equal to 2. And our model is yij is equal to pi plus aj plus eij. And in matrix notation, notation again, y is equal to xb plus zd plus e. Now let's construct mme. Our x matrix, design matrix for fixed effects. First column is for male and second column is for females. And next is our z matrix. It is for random effects. First three columns are zero because Animals do not have records and next five columns have ones in it and then matrix of observations and now uh, how can we set up equations, least square equations and then uh, we set up uh, uh, additive genetic relationship matrix and then we relay, uh, take its inverse and building MME, writing MME and getting solutions. So males have higher uh, uh, weaning weight than females, uh, which is uh, 3.4, and we have breeding values of all animals. So uh, um, I, if you want to do this problem in R, you can go to these links uh, for uh, your own satisfaction, and I have uh, uh, referred it from here. Thank you very much for your attention.